What's wrong with you? Excuse me? What? That's a little insulting. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. It's, it's a question. A legitimate question. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Or why you're asking. I'm, I'm asking because I want to know. You're nice. You're funny. You're smart. There's too much topographically good about you. Hmm? Topographically? Yeah. On the surface, you appear peachy, so I scratched the surface, and you know what I found? Topographs. I found that you're you. That what I see is what I get, and that I saw what I saw was true. This obviously upsets you. Yes. Yes, it did, because I want you to have a flaw. I have flaws. I have many flaws. So does everyone. Well, nobody's perfect. That's just it. I'm not looking for perfection because it doesn't exist. I know you aren't perfect. Gee, thanks. You're welcome. For what? For being honest. I'm being honest here, so just tell me what's wrong with you. I'm allergic to shellfish. Oh, that completely doesn't count. It doesn't? No, not at all. That's a medical thing. You can't help that. So it doesn't count? It completely does not count. Okay, then. Why are you asking me this? Because you're good. And you want me to be bad? In some way, yes. Why? So I can walk away from all of this. Am I keeping you against your will? No, no, but you're good and you make me laugh. And you make me think too much. <laughs> no, I think you make you think too much. That's true too. But I wouldn't be thinking so much if I knew you hunted exotic animals or deal drugs or something. I don't. Well, it doesn't have to only be one of those two things. There's a world of possibilities. Such as? I listed two things already. I'm not going to suggest anymore. That would be leading the witness. Now I'm a witness? Come on, I asked you a simple question. Warren's a simple answer. This isn't a simple question. It's confusing. <laughs> Please don't give me a confusing answer. Yeah, I'm sensing that you can deal with that. Probably not. So, tell me, have you ever killed anyone? Oh, for the love of, uh, no, of course not. Have you thought about it? When did this become the Spanish Inquisition? No one expects the Spanish Inquisition. What, what can I say that will make you content? Uh, okay, um, first of all, that's the problem. What is? That you make me content. You don't like that I make you happy? No, that's just it. Besides, I'm asking the questions here, pal. Okay. Okay. Second of all, I'm not going to tell you what to say because then you just say it and that would be lying. And wrong. Yes. So, what's wrong with you? Why are you so set on finding out something embarrassing about me? Not embarrassing. I don't want to hear some cute anecdote from when you were a toddler or a stupid frat boy story. <laughs> I wasn't in a frat. Darn it. What? Well, if you were, that would be the thing. <laughs> so, what do you want to hear? The truth and nothing but. There's plenty wrong with me. I, uh, I chew my fingernails. It's not wrong. Well, that's not like, ooh, gasp, shock, wrong. And you're looking for, ooh, gasp, shock, wrong. You got it. I'd like to think that I don't regularly do anything that's wrong. 
It would make my life so much easier if you did. Why? I already told you. What? You're good. And you want me to be bad? No! Ugh. You keep screaming. You keep smiling. I find this conversation amusing. Come on, just be a jerk already. A jerk? Yeah, and well, then I can think, gee, he's a jerk, and that would be the end of that. The end of what? Of you making me content. You want me to make you angry? No. You want me to be wrong? I want you to not be right? Huh? You aren't perfect. No, I'm not. It, neither are you, for that matter. No, oh, I know. We already established that. But see, there's not a word for... Um... For what? You? Yes. <laughs> yes, there is. It's Dev. My parents decided that was the word for me about 28 years ago. See, sarcasm. Stop that. You don't like when I'm sarcastic. Good. That's what's wrong with me. No, I, I like your sarcasm. It's witty. So what's this word you're looking for? That's just it. I don't know. Well, obviously. When we're little, we toss around the word perfect. And then we get older and we realize that doesn't exist. Okay, keep talking. Um, then we get a little bit older and look for good enough, but what's between the two? Experiences that make you cynical and bitter. No, oh, I'm, I'm serious. What's between perfect and good enough? What word, what feeling? I don't know. It's not, it's not just good, it's way better than fine. Great, maybe? Great. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. So? You want to know something? Sure. You want to know what's wrong with me? Okay. I can't look at you and say you're great. Is this a backhanded compliment? <laughs> I have to look for imperfections. Um, I have to find out what's wrong because you're good. You're great even. And that's bad? Well, I've never thought anyone was great before, or, you know, if I have, then I find out something's wrong. And that makes you happy? No. You make me happy. Which is wrong. Now you're catching on.